Greetings, my brethren, in that mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our soon coming King. It is with joy and a great delight that I come to you this day to share with you in this devotion, trusting that these words would encourage your heart and that you would be able to take these very same words that you are receiving and share them with a friend or a loved one. It is my prayer that as you do, that they too will share the devotion with someone else. I am convinced that the greatest job there is to be done is the job of sharing the gospel. There are people who do not know Christ as Savior, who will come to know Christ after hearing the gospel. The method in which God has used it for men and women, boys and girls, to come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is the sharing of the gospel. This day, I want to encourage you from the words of Fanny Crosby. Oh, what a great woman of God she was. She wrote the song entitled, Rescue the Perishing. The first answer says, Rescue the Perishing. That tells us that someone or others are perishing and we can rescue them from perishing. She said, care for the dying. How? Snatch them in pity from sin and the grave. Weep over the erring one. Lift up the fallen. Tell them of Jesus, the mighty to save. Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Jesus is merciful. Jesus will see. So true. So true. In order for Jesus to save, then they must hear about this Jesus who saves. Today, I want to start another little series. And you know, my series don't last too long, maybe a week or so. I want to start a series and I've given it a, a title, A Holy Midday Call to All Believers. A Holy Midday Call to All Believers. A call that needs to be relayed. In your case, it would be a relay midday call. To all believers. Permit me to read from the book of Joel. Joel chapter 3. I want to read verse 9 to verse number 14. Listen to the words of the prophet. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Proclaim what? Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Hmm. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come all ye heathens, and gather yourselves together round about. Tither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, 
get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow for their wickedness is great. Look at verse 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Let me read that verse for you again. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. This is a very important time. A very important portion of scripture. And that's why I've tried to find a, a title that would cause us to think how important this is. A media call to all believers. Let me begin by saying that one may wonder what is a media call? Well, a media call is a call that no captain of an airplane or a ship desires to hear. A media call means trouble, big trouble. It is a call alerting radio listeners of the corner distress. It is a call to let others know that their lives are threatened. When a serious mayday call goes out, we are told it is sounded three times to make sure of the clarity of the call. When that call is made, if time permits, the caller would give their location and report the happenings. Sometimes, one vessel would send out a call for another vessel in danger. This vessel would be making a relay call. A media call is not something to be taken lightly, for it is illegal for one to make a fake media call. I checked, and I've learned that in America, you can get as much as six years in jail and subject to a fine of $250,000. So when one hears a media call, it requires the hearer to take action speedily. If you hear, may the may they ship going down and give the location, then any ships in the area would go to that location to try to save the folks, the ship and the folks on board that ship, but the people even more so than the ship itself. In our text, it is a serious call. I call it a mayday call. A call for what? A call for harvesters, for men and women who will go out into the world to do the all-important work of rescuing. We see it here as harvesting. This is the most important work in the world, rescuing the perishing. That's why Fanny Crosby said, rescue the perishing care for the dying. It will take compassion for one to rescue the perishing. The problem facing us is that we have a shortage of manpower to do that. The problem is not of supply, but the very urgent and potent need for workers. It was Jesus himself who spoke about this in the book of Matthew, chapter 9 and in verse number 37. Let me read from verse 36. The Bible said, But when he saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion on them. Why? Because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Then said he unto the disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. 
Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Could you imagine? The harvest is plenteous, but the laborers are few. We are short of laborers to reap the harvest. We have the words from John chapter number 4 and verse number 35, where the Bible says, In verse 34, Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye there yet four months, and then come at harvest. Behold, I say unto you, Lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white, ready to harvest. Help is needed. Help is needed to harvest the greatest commodity that one can think of, and that is the souls of men and women. And God is depending on us to do this. Those of us who know Jesus Christ as Savior, God is depending on us. My time is up. I'll pick up next morning. But I trust that you will be a partner with us and share this devotion with someone. Share this media call with someone. Who knows? God may just speak to that person's heart and they too would become a harvester. Father, in the name of Jesus, we praise you, we thank you, we love you, we adore you, we glorify you. We ask that you'll have your way in our lives and use your word, these devotions to your honor and to your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll be back next morning.